so uh, there's no treble hooks allowed until July 1st. Um, so I've been modifying some of these lures. Some of them I already had modified. Um, these came from Tackle Warehouse. They are a triple X strong uh, full alt. Um, you get four in a pack. And they're pretty expensive. They're $8. So every hook is uh, $2 a piece. And uh, this is what it looks like. You don't want a long shank on the back. And also a little trick that I've learned is uh when you take the three hook treble hooks off it throws the uh, the balance of the bait off so leave the front split ring on and crimp you a little eighth ounce or a sixteenth ounce split shot on the front to help balance it because these are balanced at the factory to run the way they run and i found that putting a split shot on the front helps um, I also put some bigger split rings on it. These are number six stainless steel uh, Pretty expensive too considering uh, We're only going to use these for two months um, They do work I have uh, Missed some fish using this system, but um, I've caught a lot of video of this system working good when they're hitting good, they'll hit a stick of wood if it's painted blue or silver. Uh, this is another one from last year. Not using the, uh, the end eyelet or the front. Um, it's about uh, an eighth of an ounce lead crimp. It's an inline hook. Just like these. These are inline hooks. They also call replacement hooks. That's what it says right here. Single uh, replacement hook. So take take your uh, cane walkers that's this scratched up like these. They got a few scratches on them. They still work good. So this one's on the metal eyelet. And when you pop it and stop, the hook, because of the weight, the hook will drop down. All right, but most of the time when they're hitting it, they're hitting it on the move. So if you use the middle outlet, you want the hook pointed forward. When you're using the end outlet, you want the hook up, upright. And you see this? I got a little split shot on the front. You see? This cane walker, I ain't even got no eyes left. I don't like tearing brand new baits apart, so I take the ones that's got scratches on them. And uh, this one don't have a weight. We're going to try it, but I put a split shot on the front. I'll try it out to see how the balance runs. When you take these hooks off, it changes the whole dynamic of the bait. Their, compu their computer tuned at the factory um also uh last year i found these online and these are the berkeley cane walker salt water series the colors there's only like four colors that you can choose from uh the hooks are a lot stronger and they come with stainless steel split rings I have not had any of these hooks straighten out. I'm under the bridge down here at Weldon and the 18-wheelers uh, are uh, loud, so I'm gonna have to scream. Uh, this car right here did excellent last year. It's called Pilchard. And these are both saltwater versions of the Cane Walker. Uh, I get them off eBay. They're cheaper, $9.99, which is the same price as the regular Cane Walker. 
$9.99. And I found this one on uh, eBay, and it's a uh, also a saltwater version. Uh, cane walker, got the bad to the bone galvanized hooks, got the red head. I've never seen another one like this. I've got a video uh, from last year in July when treble hooks was legal. Um, they were wearing the t red and the white up. I, I, I've never seen another one on YouTube, I mean on uh, eBay, that, that's this color. Because when you buy the saltwater versions, they're not the same. You don't get as many choices as uh, you do on the uh, regular cane walker. Um, somebody asked me what's the best, the, the 110 cane walker or the 125, and this is the difference right here. This is a 110, and this is a 125. Uh, this is not salt water. I think bigger baits catch bigger fish. But I had to buy one anyway, but I don't even think I've used it yet. And this is one of my favorite colors. It's the olive shad. It's got the glitter in it. It's got the tinsel tail. Can't use it till July. But um, anyway, I'm gonna walk down here and uh, show you just how the action changes when you start taking the factory hooks when you start taking the factory hooks off and replacing them with uh, single treble, uh, single hooks. Um, so I'm down here at the new boat slide that is a total waste of money. They have put up handrails now for the handicapped people. I guess they think people's gonna come down here on a wheelchair, I don't get it. Um, they never did finish. They never, I thought they would just run out of wood. They never did finish and, and bring the rails up here. It should have been one long rail all the way down. This is a complete half a million dollar waste of taxpayer money. I hadn't seen anybody use it and I probably never will. So the river is at uh, 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 12,000 today. First, I'll set the bait in the water and I'll see if it sets pretty much level. And that looks pretty good. This, this has the split shot on the front. It's a lot of current. Usually when I'm top water fishing, there is very little current. Now, today's Friday. Tomorrow, they're going to drop the water to 10,000 on Saturday. If I was you guys, I'd wait. Sunday, they're going to drop the water to 8,500 and that is uh let these tractor trailers go by. That is what you want, man. 8,000 around eight anything under 10,000 is the stuff. The fish will stack up at welding. See, this is a different color. It's got the uh, single hook on the back and a split shot up front. And we see how it sets pretty level. That looks good. It's hard to walk the dog once you change the hooks. 
but usually the straight popping method that I use right, like right now, just pop and wait, pop and wait, and bring it straight in. Uh, later on in the summer, they like to walk the dog stuff. And by then, you can use treble hooks. And uh, I want to talk a minute about treble hooks and um, the law about treble hooks. The more hooks that's on the lure, the cane walker comes with three treble hooks. I have never in 40 years had to take and dig a cane walker out of a rockfish's throat like you do with a swim shad and like you do using circle hooks with live bait. Uh, swim shad single hooks, they, get, they swallow it. Uh, same thing with uh, circle hooks and live bait, they swallow it. And then once it goes below the gullet, the fish is dead. I don't care how you try and extract it, the fish is dead. But the more hooks, especially three treble hooks on a cane walker, the, cane, the striper attacks usually from the side or from the back. And there's so many hooks that it sticks to his face okay they can't get this down in their gullet well with a single hook they might but do i agree with the law that says no treble hooks for two months uh no i don't agree with it but i'm not going to the penitentiary for using treble hooks to catch a striper there's no need So I, I know there might be some people that disagree with me, but I'm not kidding. I have never taken a cane walker and had to cut it out of a fish or put a fish back in the water that's bleeding. Um, I think last year I had two schoolies that inhaled a four inch uh, swim shad and I like to storm. You see that bait looks pretty good. It, it's actually still got a little bit of walk the dog type action. It's hard to tell because like I said, I don't fish when the river is this high. So Sunday, you can fish off the rocks. Um, I talk more about um, the topwater baits I use on another video from last year. It's from eight months ago. Uh, it's called Best Topwater for Roanoke River. It's from eight months ago. And um, if you hadn't seen it, I go more in depth um, about what what's the best top water bait I use because there's only three: the cane walker, the heading, uh, popping image, and the the. Uh, some people like the Chapo. I like the real uh, River to Sea. Um, it's uh, the, the real Whopper Plopper is made by River to Sea. And um, they also make a saltwater River to Sea um, Whopper Plopper. So this is just a quick video to let you guys know that um, the water is almost 60 degrees. It's like 59. We got some warm weather coming up. So it's gonna be Sunday. It's gonna be close to 60 degrees. I think they might hit on top, but they will definitely be hitting on Sunday when the water drops to 8,500. Saturday night at midnight, they're gonna drop it. So 
Sunday morning when you get here, it's going to be 8,500. You can, you can, like I said, you can fish off the rocks. I'll probably be down here Sunday just filming. Um, I don't like to, uh, I have fished off the rocks and caught stripers, especially using these top waters like just these ones right here. But I don't like to take up space. You can only get so many people on the rocks and I don't want a bogart. You know, I have a boat and uh, if I want to fish, I'll put my boat in. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Jeff Tiz Fishing, uh, you should do so. Uh, it's about to get wild and crazy down here. Hey, it's free. And if, if you do get something out of my videos, uh, do me a favor and hit the like button. Um, I'm at, uh, I think I've got 892 subscribers. So I'm almost at a thousand. Um, I got 385 videos on YouTube. All of them are pretty decent, I think. A lot of big fish. So, uh, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead. Uh, even if you don't want to come down here and fish, just watching these guys fish off the rocks and fish off these uh, ramps. A lot of the bank fishermen, I got big time respect for them. Um, they know what they're doing. They abide by the law. They use single hooks, just like I showed you. And they still catch gi giant stripers off the rocks.